the best I've just landed here. That is incredible. That thing is just simply huge. Hey, Team Great Scott, welcome to uh, the United States of America, Minnesota, Minneapolis, Maple Grove, and Weaver Lake. We're going to go and try again on some different spots of Weaver Lake this morning. We're going to head out that way, paddle. We're going to paddle right across. We're going to see if we can find some more of these bass. What a beautiful morning. You can hear the frogs in the distance. Let's go and see what we can find. These lakes are absolutely full of bass. And there are 10,000 lakes scattered across Minnesota. All like this one, if not better than this one. This one's quite small. It's about one kilometer due from here to where we're going to fish this morning. But the entire lake really is about one kilometer from one side to the other and one side to the other. It's a real circular lake. And what I'll do is I'll put up a little bit of a uh, map in this episode to show you exactly where. I'll put some little crosses and some arrows and show you exactly where I've been finding the largemouth bass. Anyway, Team Great Scott, about to uh, enjoy another beautiful morning on Weaver Lake, Maple Grove. About halfway across Weaver, there's the sun coming up, so you can tell which way I'm facing. I'm paddling pretty well east, I guess, towards the sunrise. Um, and there's a fish, or a, a what they call a beach, over here on my right, is where a lot of the entertainment is had during the summer months here in Maple Grove. It's not quite a beach that you would get on the Gold Coast, but it's a beach nonetheless. It's in fresh water. You don't go home with salty uh, remnants throughout every part of your body, but you do get a nice fresh cooling bathe or swim for that period of time. Anyway, here I am heading due east, about halfway across the lake at the moment. Here we are, having arrived, another side of Weaver Lake. You'll see my absolute little favourite Texas rig hanging there. Let's just see if there's anything home at the moment. So same technique as a little throw out. Let him get to the bottom, you'll see him on the bottom now. I just give two little, two little taps and let him go back the bound to the bottom. Back to the bottom again, two little taps, let him sink back to the bottom. And what I'm fishing here is I'm fishing a bit of a drop off. There's a weed bed closer to the bank and I'm fishing the, uh, the probably maybe six to eight feet just on the front edge of that weed bed. Let him sink. There he goes, he's sinking now, he's on the bottom. You see the line go down slack. Two little taps, and then let him sink back down again. Two little taps, let him sink back down again. Two little taps, just flick out here. Oh, there's one. There's a guy. Oh, that's a nice bass. <clears throat> Very nice bass. Oh. Don't you love that sound? You love it towing your kayak around. <laughs> He's pulling round around circles. Round around circles. Oh, here we go again. Round around the circles. There he is. 
There he is finally. I think it's quite a good bass. Let's have a look at it. A bit more. Is there a little bit green? Literally green. There we go. That is quite a fish. Let's have a look at how big he is. Get his mouth. There's his mouth. Caught and pinned nicely, you'll see there. Nicely just in the top of the mouth. Push that out. These hooks are very sticky, which means they certainly stick nicely in a fish. There it is there. nice bass I think he would go just taking a guess I don't want to keep me out of water for too long Pretty precious fish put him there for a sec just like that buddy there's our tape he's going to go Twenty inches. There he is. Twenty inches of American large golf bass. And what do we say? We say, "How good is that?" Here's that bass I just got off for you. Let's have a look on a tape. There's our tape measure. Let's pop him on there. So he's going to come in at. Eyes only. That's what we said about 18 inches. 18 inches bass. And he always says, How? Oh. How good is that? And here's my uh, here's my favourite weapon of choice. It's the power bait, that guy right there. And let's just show you how I bring him up. I get the little hook here. I go through the top just to give myself a little bite bit. There's a little bite bit. Push him down on there, spin him around so the little bite bit sits up there. You see the little bite bit there, guys? Little bite bit there. Then you bring him down, have a look where he's about to gonna sit and pop him through. That is how you rig a weedless worm. Here I think I just come over this little um, pontoon here and add a little bit of a flick. And I think I found a really good fella, but I think he might have done me in the knees. Yes, I think you might have, might have gone a little bit too deep in the weeds for me. I'm going to try and grab the trace, which will be a bit dangerous, but we'll see if we can pull him out. There he is. There he is. Nice fish. Really nice fish. There he is. A nice little bass. This one was over in the um, on this pontoon here. Very light side salad, this guy. Because the hooks are so soft, you can't really get a good leverage on them because you bend the hook up. So it's a little bit difficult getting them off. Here he is. Give me a sec. Here's that bass I just got off for you. 
Well, let's have a look on a tape. There's our tape measure. Let's pop him on there. So he's going to come in at. Oh, he's only. What's that about? 18 inches. 18 inches bass. And he always says, oh. How good is that? All I'm, all I'm doing here is just flicking at the pontoons. So I'm putting out there, putting them beside the pontoon, just like that. Let them sink, give them a bit of movement, and see if there's a fish home. If it's not a fish home, move on. Oh, little bite there. There we go, fish home. There he is, fish is definitely home. Bring him around here. And another nice little American bass, largemouth bass. Yeah, so really a worm just dropping it in beside the pontoons. It's just checking to see, knock knock, anyone home? And if anyone's home, they come out to say hi. One. How good, how good is that? Bait straight back again. You can see there, spin him around. So there he's hooked on. Check where he's gonna sit. And ready to go again. Beautiful, simple as that. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock. Fish on. Another little bass. I just gave him a couple little knocks at the front door and he was home. salad though unfortunately but I think if I can just get him clear there he is Great that you bass, as I said, come with a side of salad 99% of the time. There's your side of salad. I thought I had that hook out. There it is. That's a good fish. Oh, what do you reckon? I'm gonna guess him about tw oh, 20 inches. Might as well measure him while we got him here. Just under, straighten him up. Yeah, he's just under 20 inches. It's a beautiful bass. What does he say? How good is that? Well, I need to put a bit of suit and accent on it. How good is that? <laughs> 